Hi everyone, this video is the first episode for web control. It will discuss what is web, what is it used for, and the basic principles of its operation. So first, web is a vehicle actuated programming, um, so with the help of that it's a signal control type in Wizim. Like big signal that is web control. It allows you to code the logic and to control signals uh, dynamically. It has it also has some additional features to deal with like root choices um, if you have static routing and you can also extract some uh, results from within related to signals so for example like um, counting vehicles um, things like that using detectors and channels the way it works is uh, you need to go to signal control and signal controller and that type needs to be selected as well it requires um, three files so one is just basically we need to select the DLL file. It should come up, uh, come up automatically, but you can access it through uh, from your Wizim folder. It needs a logic file, and it needs an instance stage file. The logic file is the um, the web file, and the interstage stage file is the PUA file. The logic file has the, basically the logic, as the name suggests, <laughs> surprise, um, while the interstage file has the signal setups, so what are your stages, what are your signal groups, the interstages between each uh, change, starting stage, can include the intergreen, and so on and so on, so all the, the, the basic signal settings what you basically manipulate with the logic file. You need to load the web file here. The web file is just basically a text file. So you can code it in a text if you want. But PTV developed a tool called Visweb, which is basically a program you can use that helps you to build up that um, logic file with flowcharts, so it makes it a very easy to uh, use tool and you can just compile uh, or translate that flowchart into a web file. So, where to start? In the folder, the Wisdom installation folder, you can access the web manual and the Wisweb manual. I would start having a very quick look at the web manual in this one, you see, I wouldn't read the whole thing. Uh, there is a lot of stuff which we will cover. It just basically shows what kind of uh, operators you can have, uh, some examples. Uh, it basically has very similar settings to like a programming language, just a very basic one and a very simple one. But what I would just recommend just to go through, just to have a very quick understanding of what is it and just to see the, the, the syntax of it, because you will need to do, uh, you will need to understand the, um, the syntax if you have a, an error and if you de do debugging. And also here, there is a, the tables for the states which you need to know when you when we go to Visweb, so the signal states and the functions so what kind of functions exist so you need to at least read these ones so you know what which ones to use i will do examples in further videos but this is quite in important i i would say to just have an understanding or at least just to read the names of these um, or if you don't want to just 
just to know where you can find it. When you go to the VSWAP and when you do it, then you know where to come to, to just look up basically what it does and what is it for. Um, this is also very important, the web functions and commands here. Um, so just to keep in mind that these are all here and there are examples. So this, this is a very useful manual. <clears throat> this is for VisWeb. So it basically talks about the, um, the program, how it, the structure and stuff like that. As you can see, the web file is .web. The VSWAP is .bv. And PUA includes the signal settings. And they are all translated using the DLF file and goes into VSIMDA data. Um, again, here you can see some um, hotkeys, but that's not really important. What I wanted to show you here is uh, the, these ones. So the functions. Again, it's uh, you can find the same on the other one, but here you can have a, a, a very brief explanation. So probably it's uh, maybe just have a very quick look. It will help you to see what to use and how to use. And also um, the controller frequency. So this might come useful. Just know that such thing exists, so you can change the frequency for your controller. That means how often the Vizim will run your logic, basically. Um, if it's one, then in every simulation resolution, um, and then you can change it, and it just shows in the table that which one is, is with what the combinations to make sure that uh, there is a you can multiply it so you can't have like half frequency and so on so it might be called like in every um, step or every second or so on okay I think that's enough from that and where you can get the program is there is a VSWAP folder in exam and you just need to run that and then it will bring up the VSWAP window. Basically, this is what you need to use. The PUA file is created in a text editor. The VSWAP file is created here. We just put together the flowchart here. Then once it is ready, you compile it and you can generate a web file. And then you load this web file, the one it generates, and the PUA file into Wizim here and that's it basically and you just need to run it. It is also important that as you see there is a debug mode. If you tick it on and you have VSWAP running then um, then here this window will change and that will be here on the left side the debug window so you can just basically control um, the simulation as it goes and it shows where the actual logic is running at the moment so you can find your errors you can understand what's going on where and just another interesting or important thing is if we have a signal controller web, you can, using this variable, you can have a thousand variables and you can extract data, you can communicate between VSWAP and VSIM. So you can show this variable um, basically in a uh, in Visim. You can open it through this window menu and then you can show what it is feeding out. It can be important if you want to 
if you're counting something or if you are counting back in a timer or you count vehicles let's say you have a logic like uh, you know if the vehicle has passed then passed then you do this or you do that and you can just count where you are at the moment and things like that so you can just communicate between the two tools or two softwares to see what's going on okay so this was the basics so i thought this is important before we get into it to understand how it actually works or what is the structure how it communicates with each other and in the next one we will uh, do a very simple example basically uh, with a very basic control and then we will try to do more and more complicated um, models and controls and hopefully that will help you to learn and to practice a bit so you can do your own thanks a lot for watching guys please in the comment uh, section just let me know your ideas recommendations or questions and please like and subscribe it would help the channel to grow Thanks a lot. See you next time.